comes a time when you know you've got to make a change. You can't lead a company like this unless you love oil. I love oil. I love crude oil. I do. I love it. We all do. <laughs> then, this happened. Oof. Yucky. Okay, first your rig sank, and then your blow-up preventer couldn't be activated? I mean, come on. Is that hard to watch? Uh, yeah. It's hard to watch. Your submersible robot wasn't able to stop the leak at all. Your uh, top kill and junk shot totally failed. That one is a downer. Serious boo-boo. A containment dome? Where's the love? It's a reinforced pyramid funnel construct. A stainless steel remote gate latch operating chassis. It doesn't feel like there's that much love in the containment dome. That one really gets you right here. I mean, owie zowie. Now, most companies would find a way to hide something like that. But we face it. After all, that's what's driving us to be better. At first we thought, let's figure out a way to solve this, to make sure that it never happens again. But when that failed, we decided, why fix the spill when we can fix the brand? We're rebranding everything. Our name, our logo, our faces. British Petroleum? Never heard of them. Say hello to Baby Otter Smiles and Company. We have a whole new logo. It's an otter, completely clean, smiling, not dead. That's it. It's amazing how alive it is. Basically, a problem is welling up, leading to awareness and negativity. And as that problem rises, we're putting a big dome over the whole thing. It's brilliant. So we are headed to show our logo off to the wife of a fisherman on the Louisiana coast. I think she's going to be really surprised. Who are you? We used to be British Petroleum, but we've heard your complaints, and now we're... Baby Otter Smiles and Company. Okay, you guys are monsters. We used to be monsters, but now we're... Baby Otter Smiles. She seemed so surprised. 